This video talks about the Quick Find feature in FileMaker from Claris. In previous videos, we've talked about the FileMaker finding fundamentals, and we've gone over some of the general and the basic operators and the advanced options and most common mistakes, so you may want to check those out. This one kind of stands alone, even though it is find and it falls in that general category. It's a different process than the other ones. This is the quick find and this references this box right up here in the top. So if you type something in, then you have some records up here. But how does it really work and how can we benefit from this? So I've took some of the notes that we have from the online help file and summarized them. You can perform a quick find to search across all of the fields that are enabled for quick find within the current layout. And interestingly enough, by default, merge fields are set to be included in the search. So if we look at our chart here, it gives you more information that if it has a gray magnifying glass, then it is disabled for quick find green says it is searchable. Yellow means it could be slow. What Maybe it's a calculation or not indexed. So let's take a look at layout mode and see which fields we have set. On this particular one, we only have this, which is actually a merge field. And I currently have sample data being shown. So I'm going to turn that off so you can see that this is a merge field and it can still be searchable and this one is searchable and here this calculation field that I have has a yellow magnifying glass and it's not because it's a calculation field it's because within that if we look at the storage options we have none so if we change this to all and hit ok then when we come back to our field that turns green so you can help control some of the fields that you are going to search by notice none of these are searchable and i don't have fields on these other ones they're just text ones so this helps us decide and you can set this even if it's a merge field you can set this by going over into the inspector particularly this panel and we have a checkbox that says make field available in quick find so if we uncheck that the magnifying glass goes away so if you don't want the merge field to be there then you would uncheck that you also have the layout level ability to change whether it is available for quick find right here so if we uncheck this then when we go back out notice all of these are gray when we unchecked our enablement at the layout level and this is up here but we can't click on it anymore because we disable it so they they leave it there but you can't click on that until we come back and we enable it and you can also reset which i believe is automatic when you start with the layout but if we do reset then it will put all fields on the layout to their default quick find setting and locked fields cannot be reverted so there's another way you can prevent quick find from happening on those so if i click yes here all of these will have the green on that so we're going to cancel that and come back into our layout. Another major difference between quick find and the other finds that we've done is the only operators that are allowed are the quotation marks. So we can't put in the greater than stu like we did in the other ones. You can, but it says no records match this because it's actually looking for this in in the field instead of using it as an operator when you are in find mode so if we just type in stew then we have our 10 and it is finding 
these fields that we looked at previously. So you can only use quotation marks if you wanted to say stew height like we had before. That one didn't work, I believe, because there was a space that is looking for the entire phrase in the fields that we enabled. So currently the only one that's enabled is address city. So there is no stew height in the address city that's over here in the name fields. So this can be a problem sometimes for users to not understand why isn't this showing up. I know there's a Stuart over here and you may want to change the way the layout is viewed or maybe have this box in a different area kind of like we did on the list mode. You may be able to control it better over here but if we try that on this one and we look for Stuart height, it says there are no fields accessible by quick find on this layout. So that's a nice informational warning message. And if we go into layout mode, sure enough, there are none. So it can't perform that even though we've enabled that. And just as with the saved finds in normal find mode that would normally be listed here, you have a little drop down arrow right next to the magnifying glass that gives you the list of the finds you did here. So notice this is a different set of recent searches than what you have over in this saved find area. You are still not allowed to search in the summary container or global fields, but what if the field is actually hidden in the panel? Will it still look for stew in a hidden field and it has 10 that it found. So you'd have to go back and look at those particular ones. But what if we hide the field altogether? So this one has the green one, this has green. We'll just take the calculation off at the moment and we will hide this when it equals one, which means always. So this is always going to be hidden. Will it perform the quick find when the field is not showing? So we will show all records and we'll come here and hit enter and it still found the set. So this could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing depending on how you are setting up your solution. Quick Find is an excellent tool to use when you know all of the specifics. There's even more things you can do with it if you want to check out our dynamic search where we cover some advanced methods of using Quick Find in conjunction with a script trigger or filtering portals. And we'll demonstrate how to script that in another video. So be sure to subscribe so you're notified. Thanks for watching.